Yo guys, what is up? It's Danny the back here with another episode of Survival Saturdays and this episode we'll be playing some Minecraft and as you can see right in our SMP and there's been some changes uh, in the world recently so basically we have built up a map room underneath the base right here as you can see the moment you look down you see a big big map so if I recall this is a 24 it's either 24 or 26 uh, diameter circle so it's 24 six blocks or 24 blocks across there's our to-do list over here so everything has been shifted downstairs the barrels are just for the dice and for the glow insects that side i don't know what to do with it so i just placed freaking bookshelves and made it like a library area and as we go down you can see we have telescopes here so that we can actually view the map properly now this looks like i placed the map wrong but it's just some chunk errors as you guys may have known I shifted from Scalar Cube hosting to Bisect hosting and in Scalar Cube there was one seed that I put in which was subscribe and when I moved over to Bisect hosting I forgot to change the seed. So basically this line is a chunk error that basically all of these are old chunks and the one beyond that are new chunks. And whatever that's loaded here i realized like oh shit this ain't my old seed so i changed it and further in front there'll be more chunk errors that has the old seed rendering so there'll be like a few patches of new seats every now and then i think there's one more somewhere here yeah yep right here like you see all these like rough spots that looks like i placed the map wrong but it's actually in the middle of the freaking map but yeah that that's why you see these weird little straight lines of chunk errors but yeah, anyway, this is our base. This is uh, the freaking fake lake and the waterfall that we made. And in today's video, we'll be covering a cherry tree that we're going to build in this area. So this was a hill. I just literally just like made it flattened so that we can make a tree up here. And this area is literally behind all of our various farms. So the clay farm, the cacti farm, the squid farm and whatnot. And yeah, so we're going to hit straight to a time lapse of building that sakura tree and we'll see you guys after that time lapse and i hope you guys enjoy that time lapse Alright guys, so as you can see, we are done with the sakura tree here. I would prefer to call it like a bonsai sort of tree. But yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty... Sh it's not exactly a short tree, but it's very stout. Like, it's not very um, leafy, <coughs> but it's kind of nice. It's basically like a bonsai tree, but with sakura leaves. And I kind of like it. And as you can see, it's pretty huge. It goes above the clouds, which was kind of annoying when I started to build it. Uh, but you know, it's fine. I can just remove the clouds in the settings anyways. So that tree is done and the next thing that I would do is to update the map. So let us go into the map room real quick and then we shall find the piece that has the sakura tree on it, which is easy to find I believe. 
All right. So let's see here. This is our base. This is the various farms. And this part here is where the Sakura tree is. Let us, let's free up three slots. Let's see. So we've got H11. And we have H12. And I'm sh pretty sure that's, that's it. So time to head up and update the map real quick. And then we shall see what it looks like. I think it should be it look it should look pretty good on the map. Because it's like pinkish and whatnot. But we shall see. I don't think you can tell it's a tree though. But well there, there's not much things in the game that are pink anyway, right? Okay, let us fly there. We equip one to our orphan and we just hold the other one. <clears throat> so that it's nicer to look at. Okay, all those like brown patches and shulker boxes should be gone by the time we reach the area. There we go. Okay, you can I guess you can tell it's a tree, but it's literally a huge pink cloud. And oh my god, the texture on it is pretty good too. Yeah, that, that actually looks pretty dang good. Okay, let us get this out of the way. And go back into the map room and see what it looks like. I kind of like what it looks like on the map already, so oh ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright, let's enter here real quick. Uh, I also made some quality of life updates in this house. So I don't need to close the door and accidentally activate the trapdoors manually again. I can just step on it and it will just automatically do it. Alright, let's go down here. We have H12, which should be on this side. Yep, and then H11, which uh, there we go. Oh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> just a nice little pink cloud right next to the farm area in contrast to our freaking this is the bee farm you can tell it's like really really organized here okay that's that's great that's that's one project down two project downs for a year so we have two projects done uh, i guess three because the slime farm is technically a project as well so the next project that we would do is probably either the secret room underneath uh the the super smelt area or we could continue doing this uh, link away and like decorating it somehow. So as you can see, there's a pressure plate here. I made a 4x4 piston door. <laughs> and ouch, ouch. Oh, that's not a great idea. I made a 4x4 piston door that is basically... Damn, I, I couldn't do this in Bedrock. Like, in Java, the redstone is so good. But yet again, I'm so not used to it. So it's kind of bad for me. But at the same time, it's good for like compatibility and whatnot. I'm still not used to it. I'll get used to it soon enough but yeah this is basically a tunnel that goes all the way to our sorting system without the need to go through the top of the pagoda right there as you can see we are underwater right now this is where Rayquaza is as you can see Rayquaza is right there this underwater i guess i wanted to just cover this up with stone and i was like you know why not just put in these uh lightning rods and have glass on top and it'll look pretty good because i remember doing that in one of my bedrock worlds and i was like holy shit like, having a small area filled with glass so that you can see the water out, especially with the shaders on, them that looks pretty good. So yeah, right over here, as you can see, it's a, not too long of a walk, but we have arrived. This is going to be where the secret room is. How I'm going to construct it, however, uh, it's, 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 it's a different question altogether. But anyway, yeah, this is where the super smart is, if you can recognize it. And up here... It's the second entrance, right to the pagoda. Maybe I should actually clear out this area. I have no idea what this is. White dye. Oh, I think this is for uh, Adib's project on the giant chess board. I forgot where his perimeter is. Like it's on the server Discord somewhere. But he has a perimeter where he's making a super big, uh, what's that called? Chess board, and it's not in the map room because it's like I think two thousand blocks away. This map does not cover two thousand blocks away. And it kind of looks like a map of the year, aside from the chunk areas. But yeah, I think that should be it for today's episode, guys. So if you do enjoy the episode, please do drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy the rest of my content. And with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.